Now, a row has broken out in South Africa over the publication in a national newspaper of a draft report onto, on an investigation into alleged spending irregularities at one of President Zuma's residences. The Weekly Mail and Guardian has published the allegations which it claims are based on a leaked report, which is yet to be published. The public protector has uh, spent m many months investigating why $20 million was spent by the South African government to upgrade security at the president's home in Nkanda in KwaZulu-Natal. The BBC has not had the opportunity to see yet a copy of the report for itself and so cannot independently confirm its authenticity. With me is Libo Diseko from the BBC's Focus on Africa. Just tell me, Libo, how did this controversy actually come about? Well, this all began because opposition groups criticised the amount of money that had been spent on upgrading the president, uh, uh, Jacob Zuma's private residence in Ngandla. And they wanted to know, basically, why it had cost so much money. And so the, the public protector, Tuli Madonsela, was appointed to investigate this. Now, since then, her role has come under uh, quite a lot of pressure from the South African government, in particular the security cluster, the so-called security cluster, which are part of the security services. And she says this has hampered her report. Okay, and what developments have we had today? Now, this is where it gets slightly tricky and it's quite sensitive legally, so you'll forgive me if I just refer to some notes I made yes, earlier. Please. The weekly newspaper, The Mail and Guardian, has public, published what it claims is a leaked document, which it says is Madonsela's preliminary report. Now, stay with me. If this is true, if the document is true, it's critical of uh, President Jacob Zuma and highlights spending on items such as a swimming pool and um, guest houses, which it says cannot be part of a security upgrade. Um, it says that they would be classed as personal expenditure, which Mr Zuma should pay for himself. Now, shortly after the publication, uh, the public protector herself, Tuli Madonsela, came out and she made a statement where she said it was unethical and illegal, uh, 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 unlawful for the Mail and Guardian to publish this report without um, uh, asking for her permission. And uh, President Zuma's critics have actually uh, pointed out that although she distanced herself from the Mail and Guardian report, she stopped short of denying its authenticity. Okay, let's move away from the legal niceties. But just generally, how damaging could this be uh, to President Zuma? Well, this is likely, the controversy around this is likely to rumble on for the coming days and perhaps even, even weeks. And it's highly damaging for the, uh, the, the credibility of the presidency. And also, it doesn't do much for the credibility of the ANC as the party of the poor. Next year is an election year. So, um, as you can imagine, it's a really talked about to topic in South Africa. And South Africans will be eagerly aware uh, the, the full report, which is due in about a month's time. Libby thank you very much indeed.